never wanted to watch someone suffer. Well, I definitely hope not, but that's what this video is. I am going to be attempting to read for 24 hours, not 24 hours straight. I don't think I can physically handle that, but I'm going to be trying to read for 12 hour increments, two days of just nonstop reading. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you enjoy my suffering. <laughs> Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm really scared for. I have never been able to read for that long. I normally can just read for like four hours and then I tap out. Like I literally cannot <laughs> read for very long. My attention span is so bad. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this challenge. I guess I should talk about what book I am gonna start this challenge with. I literally don't have a plan. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Once I finish a book, I'll pick up a new one. I don't have like a set plan. I think that'll make it even worse for me, honestly. I did have a book started. I am halfway through The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. I hope I'm saying that name right. I really do like this book so far. I'm hoping that I'll just be able to get straight into it right away. I have the book on my Kindle too, so if I get tired of like holding the book or reading it, you know, I don't know, something about looking at a screen just makes it easier for me to read. I'm gonna start by reading The Perfect Marriage. We are about to start a 24 hour timer. You're starting in three, two, one. I need to go sit down and read so I don't waste time. Let's go. <laughs> okay, this book is really good. I don't really like like I guess it's a thriller. It says it's a completely gripping psychological suspense. And I normally don't like any like suspense or like thriller. I would rather just read like a little romance book, but I'm really enjoying it actually. So let's see how fast I can get through this book. Well, half of this book. <laughs> I did pause the timer. I'm doing this so fairly. We are now 22 hours in. We, no. We now have 22 hours left, so we are two hours in. Are you being loud and annoying? Oh, I love you too. Okay, I am so close to finishing literally this much left. Okay, Cammy. okay. It keeps changing suspects and I'm like, ugh. And then I'm still stuck on like, did the husband actually do it? Because I don't fully trust him either. I don't know, I don't know, I'm going insane. I don't think that it's cheating because I'm gonna be listening to a book. I'm listening to The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. People love this book, so I'm listening to it on audiobook. Anyways, I'm 10% through The Fine Print, so I make food I'm going to listen to. I also just need a break from this book. It's so good, but it's throwing me for a loop and I don't like I don't like when books make me feel stupid. through the perfect marriage i was reading it on my kindle but i think i'm gonna finish the book as like, the actual physical book so spoiler but it like low-key left on a cliffhanger a little bit because it went from what's happening to then 11 years later right before something that I really needed to know. Oh no! 
Oh, wait, no, wait, no, wait, no, no, that's not real. <laughs> I'm going through actual pain. I don't like Adam, <laughs> but I like to process i'll be back are we here to talk about that ending because that shocked me to my core this book i think i'm going to rate a five stars i like this book but also take everything that i say with a grain of salt because a lot of people will probably be like yeah i knew it was them the whole time let's pick our next book because i have two options that i'm gonna do i want a little bit of a more happy book but i was also like i read the first book in the akatar series so maybe i just read the second book it's a really long book though but i know that it will keep me interested the entire time but maybe i save this for nighttime because it's such a long book that i'll just keep reading it and i'm already interested in this story so it's not hard to get into i think the option that i'm leaning towards is loath to love you by ali hazelwood this is actually three novellas of books that are actually like full-length books but it's just shorter versions of it which i think good because one this is like rom-com books i think that it'll just I, I feel like I could just get through this fast because it's three small novellas. Anyways, let's go start Loathe to Love You. Okay, I'm not really sure why I'm sitting on the table. been so long you've been so tough you kept it up you've kept me up been standing tall I keep reading the same page it's also hard because it's a novella so it's like i don't get both of the characters as much as i would like to know them before they know each other i'll probably come back to this later <laughs> I decided to pick up The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni because I've been wanting to read this for literally so long. I'm going to read this one first. I'm really excited, so. I'm doing well. I'm eating more. Like, oh my god, this is going to be actually insane to follow. And oh, you might think that you're fine. You need someone. And oh. Left, I am going to continue reading the prison healer. One minute until 12 o'clock, and I have 15 hours left in the challenge. I should be asleep by now, too. I'm like holding on for dear life, and this story. Is high stakes fantasy, but for some reason I just don't care. I have this much left of the book. Hopefully, I'm saying hopefully I can finish it by tonight. I'm gonna finish it tonight. My nature plays tricks on me. Yeah, how can I be proud? I want to get to know you. Spreading time with you. This plot line's a little bit confusing, but I think I'm starting to learn a little more about it. But it's still kind of confusing me. It's fine. We're gonna keep reading. So literally 2 a.m. I just finished this book. 13 hours left. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Oh my gosh, this dog. We still have 11 hours left. Oh my god. 
and literally could fall back asleep right now. But if you just let go and There's a character that's so insufferable to me. And it's a really main character. I can't tell you who it is. Fall into the garden that you grew. You would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new. We're going out for the day. Let's see how I'm able to finish this challenge. I, d I just know it's gonna go on forever. We have six hours left. We're about to leave to go somewhere. I was listening to an audiobook while getting ready. So I'm not cheating in this challenge, guys. It's insane. <laughs> Let's see how much I can read and how much time I can figure out while we're doing errands. obviously my outro piece, but I want to talk about the books that I read. Okay, so the first book that I read was The Perfect Marriage. This was probably my favorite throughout this whole video. I really, really enjoyed this book. Yeah, I'm gonna read this book five stars. Second book that I read was The Prison Healer by Lynette Noni. I really liked this book too. Like everyone says, oh, the ending was insane in this book. And I was just like, oh, like I just didn't have a actual reaction to the ending. Final rating, this is a four star book. It kept me invested, but it did feel a little bit repetitive at times. Okay, so for the last book that I read, I still haven't finished it, but that's fine. This book, I'm not gonna rate yet because I'm not done with it, but I just wanted to show it anyway because it was gonna be read in this video, but I didn't finish it in time. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. I have to make this quick because I have zero space left on my computer. This video takes up 41 gigabytes on my computer. So needless to say, I talked a whole lot in this video and you're probably sick of me by the end of this. So I'm so sorry that you're like, if you're still here and you're still listening, first of all, I kind of feel bad for you because you had to hear me talk. I, I feel like I just spew nonsense. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you stick around to see some more book content. I will see you guys super, super soon. Okay, goodbye.